Let's take a look at one third minus one fourth. So if we have one over three minus one over four, what do we end up with? So when we add or subtract fractions, what we need to do is get the denominator. That's the number here on the bottom to be the same. So if I look at the multiples of three, I have three, six, nine, 12, 16. And then for four, I have four, eight, 12. And there it is. 12 is the lowest common multiple of both three and four. So what I can do is to get 12, I can multiply four times three. I can't just multiply four times three to the bottom though. I need to do it to the top as well because four divided by four, that's one. So I'm just multiplying by one. It won't change the value, but it'll change the way we represent the value. Over here, I need to get 12. So four times three, that'll give me the 12. And I need to multiply the top again by three as well. So now four times one, that's four. Four times three is 12. So there's our 12 in the denominator. One times three, that's three. Four times three is 12. So now we have the same denominator here. All we need to do is subtract the numerators. Four minus three, that gives us one. And we bring the 12 across. And one third minus one fourth, that gives us one twelfth. So that's how you find one third minus one fourth. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.